Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video, doing European Outlook for today's third video. So as always on a Thursday, we're having a look at the weather for next week to 10 days in detail across uh, Europe. And I should get on that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video released today uh, was our 7am uh, upload. And we've also uh, released the final update for spring uh, bank holiday. So have a look at those two if you'd like to do that. We've got the 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on with all our regular features. Please like, share, subscribe on all the videos. Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. Right, I think we'll turn the webcam off of this one. I'm going to have a look at the uh, situation today across Europe. So the general setup is that there's still a trough of low pressure across northern, central and eastern parts of Europe, but a ridge of high pressure is beginning to build out to the west. This ridge of high pressure will become an important player uh, over the course of the forecast period. More in a moment. A rare temperatures looking relatively cool still across many central and northern parts of the Europe. It is a little bit warmer in the east. Also, we can get a little bit warmer in the far west, but the real warmth is across southern Europe today, very hot through Spain and also into Greece and Turkey, and pretty warm throughout the whole of the Mediterranean, uh, really. Lots of dry weather as this high pressure is building across the west of Europe. There will be some patchy rain moving towards Ireland and some heavy thunderstorms likely across southern parts of Spain, but otherwise, western Europe and also northern Europe too is generally dry. Through these eastern, central eastern areas, there's uh, more away showers, heavy showers and thunderstorms, uh, for example. Uh, in the southeastern corner and running up towards southwestern parts of uh, Russia as well. Most parts of the Med look dry, though, it has to be said. Temperatures today are going to be cool across northern Europe, very chilly for the time of year, becoming a little bit warmer out in the west through France, the UK and Ireland, but perhaps still a little bit pegged back, really. Uh, down into the Med, though, it looks quite hot through there. Temperatures widely into the upper 20s to low 30s Celsius. And this warmth does extend up the eastern side of Europe, too. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we'll see this high pressure increasingly building uh, across northern parts of Europe, beginning to push this trough of low pressure more towards the uh, northeast. Upper air temperatures still not quite cool for northern and eastern northeast parts of Europe, but warmest in the south and the southwest of uh, Europe. There are going to be showers pushing into eastern parts of uh, Europe tomorrow. Some of them could be heavy and thundery, especially down into the southeastern uh, corner. Maybe one or two thunderstorms affecting parts of Greece and Turkey. Come out through these western parts of Europe, where it's going to be mainly dry again. There might be a few heavy showers and thunderstorms over the Pyrenees, for example, a little bit of patchy rain through Ireland and the UK. But you see the emphasis is on drier weather tomorrow as that high pressure is building across northern and uh, western parts of Europe. Temperatures are gradually beginning to get warmer uh, as well in the west of Europe. So France, for example, should be into mid-20s Celsius uh, tomorrow, going up to Scandinavia. It's warming up a little bit there too, into the upper teens, low 20s Celsius. Generally just quite uh, warm, really, through, through most parts of uh, Europe as we go uh, through into Friday. Saturday... We'll see this high pressure uh, again strengthening across northern and western parts of Europe, sending this cooler northerly wind over into the eastern parts of Europe. There could be some showers in the eastern part of Europe as well with those cooler northerly winds. Upper air temperatures are becoming warmer through these uh, western and northwestern areas, hot through most parts of the Med, but cooler actually over on the eastern side of Europe. That's where the showers will be on Saturday. Some of them could be quite heavy and thundery from Poland to the Black Sea. There could be some downpours and running up towards the uh, Baltic uh, states as well. But again, many northern, western and increasingly central parts of Europe will be starting to turn drier, I think, on Saturday as that high pressure is building, looking mostly dry through the whole of the Mediterranean, just a few rogue showers here and there. That's where the hottest temperatures are, of course. We might reach around the mid-30s Celsius across some parts of Spain and Portugal, but generally into the upper 20s to low 30s Celsius. But it is becoming warmer across many parts of Europe, particularly the north and west, a little bit cooler, though, over in the east. On Sunday, high pressure is beginning to dominate across the vast majority of northern and western Europe. This trough of low pressure, though, in the east will bring cooler and more unsettled conditions there. Up rare temperatures are hottest through the mare, but it's pretty warm up this western side of Europe and into northern Europe as well. Scandinavia looking quite warm, for example. Over on the east side of Europe, though, it's cooler there with winds in from more of a north or northeasterly uh, direction. Many northern 
and western parts of Europe will be uh, dry uh, to, on uh, Sunday uh, with plenty of sunny spells. Came through. Again, a few road showers here and there, so there could be some thunderstorms in the eastern parts of Spain, a few thunderstorms uh, around the Côte d'Azur in southern France, for example. But northern, western and increasingly central parts of Europe settling down at that area of high pressure. Heavy showers and thunderstorms over on the eastern side of Europe, particularly through Ukraine, uh, through Ukraine and up into southwestern parts of uh, Russia and most parts of the Mediterranean looking dry on Sunday as well. Going to be turning warmer. Temperatures will be rising into the 20 Celsius across many northern and western parts of Europe. Looking very hot down across Spain and Portugal. Very warm to hot through much of the Mediterranean as well. Very cooler in the uh, northern, uh, in the eastern and northeastern part of uh, Europe. Monday, high pressure dominates across the continent, bringing loads of dry weather. Still this trough of low pressure left though in the eastern part of uh, Europe. Look how hot it's becoming across Spain. Heat really building there out of Africa. Generally a warm scene across most parts of Mediterranean too. Uh, and generally warm through much of northwest Europe. The coolest up rare temperatures again uh, over on the eastern side of Europe. Uh, precipitation wise some showers over on the eastern side of Europe. They're getting a little bit lighter though. Not as heavy as they are uh, on the days before. But there could be a few uh, thunderstorms and downpours around. Maybe some storms kicking off particularly over mountainous areas of Italy. But most northern and western parts of Europe are looking dry on uh, Monday. Temperatures are looking like this. So uh, it's going to be uh, warm across uh, most parts of Europe, especially in Scandinavia, and down through uh, Germany, Belgium, part of the Netherlands, into France, UK, Ireland. Uh, temperatures widely into the 20 Celsius through these areas, into the 30 Celsius, across just Spain, Portugal. Most parts of bed look pretty hot. Again, it is a cooler scene, though, you'll notice, across those eastern parts of Europe. Tuesday, dominated by high pressure now across northern Europe. It's a big area of high pressure pressure uh, that uh, stretches right from the UK all the way back to western parts of Russia. Underneath the high to south high, it's a little bit more unsettled across eastern and maybe even some southeastern parts of Europe. Pressure is beginning to weaken a little bit. Also an area of road pressure starting to develop uh, to the west of the Bay of Biscay. Uh, upper air temperatures look generally warm through most parts of uh, northern Europe uh, at this point, although it's a little bit cooler south of the high pressure across the east of Europe. And the heat will be building uh, down in the southwestern part of Europe as well, particularly through France and then down into Spain and Portugal. Precipitation wise, uh, we've got some heavy showers here across eastern parts of Europe, and they might start to affect uh, south, eastern, out eastern and southeast parts of the Med, actually. So by Tuesday, we could start to see some first storm begin to break out through Greece and Turkey, for example. The Balkans also also at risk of some heavy showers, and they will extend northwards in towards uh, parts of Poland and Ukraine as well. Again, much of northern and western Europe, though, uh, looks dry. I mean, a few showers could start kicking off across uh, across uh, Bay of Biscay and down into uh, Spain. Temperature-wise, look like this. Nice and warm for many northwestern areas uh, of Europe. Uh, temperatures widening into the 20th Celsius. It will be cooler, though, over on the eastern side of Europe. And then Wednesday, again, high pressure dominates the weather across northern Northern uh, Europe pressure weakening a little bit uh, across these east and southeast parts of Europe, and an area of low pressure trying to move in off the Atlantic in towards Ireland and the UK. Upper air temperatures again look pretty warm across most parts of Europe, especially so for northern and western areas. Hot through most parts of Med, particularly through Spain and into central bowl of Med, the Holly Islands, Mallorca, Menorca, Ibiza, and also Corsica, Sardinia, Malta, all looking pretty hot through there. A little bit cooler perhaps though down into the eastern part of the Med. Again, further showers are likely on this east and south east side of Europe. There could be some further mixed in. And showers beginning to get a little bit more widespread across France into Ireland and parts of the UK as well. Perhaps on, on uh, Wednesday they might be a little bit fudgy. Most parts of the Med look mainly dry, it has to be said. Temperature-wise on Wednesday, loads of dry uh, weather and sunny spells will lead to uh, warm temperatures widely again into below to mid 20 Celsius across most northern and western parts of Europe. Again, it is a little bit cooler though over on the eastern side. And then into Thursday, high pressure will just begin to recede back a little bit towards western parts of uh, Russia. But it should mean that many parts of Europe are still very warm during the air from the south. Low pressure is trying to get in off the Atlantic, however. Upper air temperatures look generally quite warm through uh, most parts of Europe, though will turn a little bit cooler out in the far west and northwest. There'll be showers, if not longer, spells of rain through uh, France and down into uh, northern parts of Spain around the Pyrenees. There might be some thunderstorms mixed in there. Some of that could start pushing towards parts of the UK and Ireland as well. Showers probably breaking out through Scandinavia.
and there even might be some flood of zones mixed in through those areas. Dry weather through the central part of Europe, and we're back into the showers in the east and the southeast of Europe. Temperature-wise, uh, generally warm scene across most parts of Europe, but it's starting to go a little bit cooler out in the far northwest Rhine and the UK and western parts of France. But east of that, temperatures widely again into the uh, low to be 20 Celsius at the very least, if not the high uh, 20 Celsius, hot through the med. I mean, I'll just like send you on into uh, days uh, 8, 9, 10. This is Friday. Uh, it's going to be Friday, uh, 4th of June. So uh, by then, we've still got high pressure across northern parts of Europe. Another ridge is beginning to form from the Azores side across France. That keeps many parts of Europe looking mostly dry and warm. A little bit more unsettled, though, for Ireland and the UK. And then into the weekend of the 5th and the 6th of June. Overall, large parts of Europe dominated by high pressure. So mainly dry and quite warm. Perhaps turning a little bit cooler and more unsettled, though, for the UK and for Ireland with this little trough of low pressure. Right, so let's put webcam back. That is your European Outlook uh, for this week. We're going to be back later on. We can change a 14-day. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. Um, and let us know in the comments what you think. I said we're back later on with your 10 to 14 days. So come back for that then. For this week's European Outlook, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.